Okay guys, we're gonna go up Hell's Revenge right now and do a little trail review. Um, it is Easter Jeep Safari. I got here a little early, so I'm just gonna go on a little trail and we'll show you guys what it's like. Uh, maybe get the drone out if it charges and have a little flight. So here we go. This is the funnest part actually is the entrance. And I don't know why, but I always like to off-road with my windows open. And here we go. Yeah, this is always fun. It's always terrifying, always fun. Let's hear everything in the back tip over. Up this little crest. Look at that. That is just awesome. Again, we're trying out this new TerraFlex suspension. I have not tried it on anything yet, so this is its break-in schedule. Let's we'll see how this feels. I don't like how sideways that is, but we are okay. Let me go to the right just a little bit more. Just drive on through. This is one of those where you get to pick your own adventure line here. This is it's feeling a little bumpier than I remember it being. The sway bar is disconnected, but these shocks are doing good. They're just moving around a little more. I don't know if they're more stiff or they don't have enough movement. See here, we're gonna come down here. We had a couple up here. They're spotting the trail, seeing how well they could go through it earlier. I'll turn my heated steering wheel on and my heated seats. Windows open, it's a little bit cold right now. It's 44 degrees outside. I am running about uh, 22, 23 pounds in the tires. So they're a little soft, but they're not too soft. And we're gonna just take it nice and easy. This trail really is pretty easy. It's a kind of drive up, drive down. As long as you stay in the middle of the trail, like you can see these black marks are on the ground, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I have never driven this stock. I've always had something with a lift on it, but a two inch lift and 35 inch tires drive right through everything on this trail. I'm currently on a three and a half inch lift with 37s, but I'm in a Gladiator and that makes everything harder because it is longer. So you gotta watch the breakover angle. You gotta watch the departure angle a little bit more, but in a Wrangler, you just drive over everything and it is super easy. Um, the fun thing about this trail is that it's like a roller coaster. You just kind of go up and over and around and down. And there's really nothing complicated about it. It's just getting in the right spot. Yeah. The airing down part on this stuff is so important. It makes it, it makes it so you have a lot better traction, but also a lot more comfortable. Because when you hit these bumps, if it's if you've got hard, hard tires, it's really easy to just rattle around and be uncomfortable. So if you air down, everything is a lot easier. We're gonna be a little careful, a little on the edge here. Just hugging that wall. And again, I hate being sideways, so I'm always very cautious about how much lean I have. I do not like leaning, like right now. That is extremely uncomfortable. You guys probably can't feel or see that, but I mean, we are 15 degrees sideways. It's not a lot, but it feels like a lot. It's never comfortable any anytime. All right, and now because I have the long wheelbase, I am going to go through the rocks instead of through the dips. Again, it's a long wheelbase. I gotta do the long hard thing. Alright, let's 
testing out this new suspension. I guess I'm okay sideways as long as it's not on top of a hill. When I'm on top of a hill, I get really uncomfortable being sideways, but right there, I was just as sideways and didn't bother me at all. <coughs> so, I don't know. You can see that this trail has a lot of different types of traction or, or texture. You got these sandstone sections, you got just rocky sections, you've got sandy sections. It all just depends on how you want to drive it. Alright, so last time we were here, I came up this little edge here and it totally screwed it up. So this time, let's try and do it again. A little bit better. I don't know why, but the seatbelt, when you're in a difficult situation, just cinches down. You can't move it. You know, sometimes you pull the seatbelt out too quickly and it does that. This is electronically controlled and so when you get up to a point like that, it just grabs. I don't understand that at all. All right, we're gonna come out here, take a little peek over the valley. Let you guys take a break, let these guys by. So we're going a little slower. We will stay ahead of the next guys. side for sure on that thing. This is the most uncomfortable section of the trail by far. It's got just these big rocks that are just all over the place. Not fun to drive up, not fun to drive across. And just kind of bump all over them. I never liked this spot ever. Oh, there's that couple that was walking the trail. Woo! Get a little momentum, this gets a lot of fun. Forget what you're driving until you drive it. There's a 392 with the uh, Liberty top, or I guess the uh, Active Sky One Touch top. I love that top. Next time. This is the option, the, the lane line. Normally I go up on the left, but in the Gladiator, there's just, it's just too long. You can't do that line in the Gladiator, which makes me sad every time. Whew, getting warm. Keep the warm steering wheel, but I don't want everything else gone. You know, I think that this suspension is, a little more bouncy, not bouncy, but it just feels a little smoother over this stuff. I feel like it's rolling easier, maybe. It's hard to tell. I think it's rolling easier, but if it's, yeah, it's just hard to tell.
We're gonna go up now. We're gonna go at 16, 17, 18, 21 degrees incline. 22, 23 degrees incline. I know for you guys this doesn't feel like anything. Whoop, sunglasses fell off the dashboard. But here we go, we're just heading on up. Nice. Right now I wish I had that front facing camera because I cannot see over the hood at all. There we go. And we're back to this time. It's the last time we came. We almost went straight off that to the right. And there is a nasty drop off right there. Stay left. And everything comes back to the front of the car. Woo! 26 degrees down. I am holding my phones. So they'll be flying off. Then it's time for the best climb on the whole trip. This should have a name. I don't think it does, but I wish it did. Woo! Going down again. Oh, all right. A little drop here. Extra bonus line. There's, maybe that's the bike line? It could be the mountain biking line. I don't know. Could be the slip rock trail. I have never been one. It's clearly got side by side tracks on it though. Over on the right, I can see a bunch of trucks kind of hanging around. If you come out, you have the option here now. You can go up this, or you can go over and bypass it to the right. I don't know why you don't want to bypass it, but you can if you want to. Let's check both sides, make sure in the middle of the trail, make sure there's nobody at the top, and off we'll go. <coughs> so this is up, up we go. I think we'll bypass on the way back. I've not bypassed on the way back in a long time. Try bypassing the back and avoid traffic. Okay, so now we're gonna go straight up again. We're at 27 degrees already. Then back down to 23. Yeah, these gladiators are awesome. They're a little long. I do sometimes wish that I had a little bit shorter, you know, the Wrangler again. But when you're going up steep stuff like this, it makes it so much easier. Because you just have that length. You just kind of cruise through everything. I really enjoy it. I think it's great. That blazer, man, he's cooking. I'm not catching up to him. Another little ridge and a descent. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a couple of uh, crazy guys up here doing the escalator or some of these extra credit lines that sometimes people do. We'll see. <coughs> really hoping that the drone hurries up in charges too. Ooh, got a little bit of a... Go 
guy's doing a little extra credit line there too, I've never seen. That's why you come out here during the summer, I guess you get to see all the cool stuff. All right, driving blind. I have no idea what's in front of me right now. That's a fun track. I don't know that one. I'd like to try it though. The wheels on that Jeep too. Look at that, it's like ants on a hill. All right, this is officially my least favorite part. It's right where that blazer is right now. So you go around these bumps and you drop and you lean sideways and it's just, ugh, no fun. It's no fun to lean sideways, ever. And now we're gonna do it. We're gonna lean sideways here. We are already at six degrees side angle. And we're going to do more and more. And I just can't stand it. I can't stand it at all. So I'm not leaning in the car. I'm straight up and down right now. Ugh. Makes my stomach drop every time I do these drops. I really don't like it. So funny. Yeah, eight degree side angle, but I'll tell you what, it feels like so much more. You're doing bumps and there's a hill side by side. I mean, I know I won't tip over, but oh man, it feels like I will. I do not like it. Not one bit. Ever. <laughs> I always hate this. I'm leaning. This is this is me, straight up and down. And I oh man, I can't stand that. Every time. I really wish the drone was working right now. So I set up this really cool charging solution and then I don't even ever get to use it because huh? okay this is also never any fun. So I'm 11 degrees side angle down 16 dropping into a bowl. It's really straight out it's okay but Hear that. Everything in the back seat's forward, 31 degrees down angle, and we're safe. Put my camera bag, camera case just slid forward. I'm rubbing a lot less with this new lift, which is nice. I'll be excited for the new tires next week. Really wanted them on this time. But... Whoosh, there we go. The 392 crew from Texas. Thank you. Oh, and then we got a whole big crew here, just hanging out. Thank you.
best thing about the Jeep community is that everybody's nice. Everybody wants everybody to win. Everybody's having fun together. And it doesn't matter if yours is better than someone else's. There's no pride cycle. It's just get out here, have fun together. And that's, I think, what I love most about the Jeep is everyone's nice. This fun little sandy carve, but you gotta slow down right here at the end because this. Again, sideways is easy as long as you're momentum right Not. The seatbelt tightened up behind me. Oh, so annoying. All right. A little sandy bit. This part of the trail is a little bit more fun. You get to pick up a little more speed and kind of carry through these bumps. It does feel like we are smoothing out quite a bit as we fly through this. Uh, we're not going too fast, but it's pretty fun. Uh, I definitely want to see how this goes once we get a little bit more washboard, but this is a great section. And right here you have the opportunity to keep on going straight up to the overlook and to Hell's Gate. Or what we're going to do today, and we're going to go ahead and turn left and head over to the escalator and see what's going on over there. So this is kind of a fun spot. I hope that we have some guys playing a little bit there and we can have some fun with that. But uh, looking up ahead of us, it looks like there is a little bit of traffic. And hopefully we don't run into too much. But again, this is a kind of fun, fast section. We'll just enjoy it and get driving along here. You know, as we travel through this, it does feel like that new setup we have with the AT3 Terraflex system really does feel like it's carrying speed a little bit better as we go through here. Well, on a rare turn of events, we've met Matt's off-road recovery here in front of us, which 
was not expected, but kind of fun to see. And we got a little bit of a traffic jam <coughs> at the same time. That thing's pretty cool. That is the entrance of Hell's Revenge all the way up to the escalator. Essentially this section through here is just a big playground. You can get in here pretty quickly, get back, play around a little bit. And it is probably the most fun section of the trail in my opinion. Other people might disagree, but I really enjoy it back through here. It's really scenic. You get to go straight up, straight down, go on a couple off camber rides, and a little bit of a high speed section, which is a lot of fun. Um, Again, this is just the entrance to the escalator. There's a lot more you can see, but let's take a stop here and just take a look at some guys playing on the escalator and then we'll head back out.
as you can see here the escalator is a tight narrow climb you get very off camber and you have quite a bit of a challenge going up and down this these rigs are very well built and just run up and down it super easy but if you're in a regular wrangler or a similar type of an off-road vehicle it is quite difficult perhaps if you think your driving skills are up to it you could come out here and try the escalator see how it goes for other escalator videos check my other links in the description below and or click on the thumbnails at the end of this video After some time there at the escalator watching guys go up and down it, I decided it was time to go back to the trailhead and go back into town into Moab and get some dinner for the night. In all, this is one of my favorite recreational trails in Moab, Utah. It is scenic and beautiful, but also very convenient, very easy. Anybody can get out here and go see it. I have driven this in a stock Rubicon, a JL Rubicon with very little trouble. Again, there are trails or there are sections of the trail that you can pick either to go more difficult or easy depending on what you're driving. And it really is a good trail to go out and just learn how to drive, have fun. Again, it's a point and shoot. You can just get up and go and not be that great or experienced of a driver to enjoy this trail. And if you are an experienced driver, you can come out here and really have some fun, challenge yourself. But for the most part, it is a very accommodating trail. The name Hell's Revenge sounds scary. But the truth is it's more like a roller coaster trip. I would have probably named it something after a Six Flag amusement park ride, but in general, it's a fairly straightforward trail and you can have as much fun on it as you want. You can get crazy, you can take it easy, but it's one of those trails that everybody should try at least once. And if you don't like it, that's fine, move on. But I think that you will if you give it a run. So from here on out on the trail, we basically connect back into the main link and just drive back in the entrance area and we'll show you that here in a second and we'll just go through there. The Red Rock Four Wheelers Association rates Hell's Revenge as a level six trail, meaning that it has some taller cliffs and ledges that you have to climb up and over and a few more difficult challenges on the trail. However, most of the trail is more similar to like a level three or level four in my opinion. You can drive this trail, again, as calmly and easily as you want, or you can go look for bigger obstacles. It's up to you. But for the most part, this is just a fun trail. So if you're in Moab, you need to come out and give it a try. And uh, if you have a stock Rubicon, you're fine. You can get through the trail just fine. If you have a stock Wrangler, you may have a little bit more difficulty because it is sitting a little bit lower. The ideal setup here would be a 35 inch tire on a two inch lift for a four door or a two door. And I think you're gonna have a blast, but you can do it stock. This is one of those trails that there are videos of people with Crown Victorias driving these. There are people on this trail that have uh, regular compact pickup trucks. You can do it to your own skill level and your own confidence level, but it's up to you. And at any point, if you get nervous or scared or feel like your vehicle can't handle the, the track itself, you can always go back the way you came, which is what we're doing right now. We're heading back to that connection point and we're gonna head right off to the entrance again. So fairly straightforward, pretty easy trail, and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. When I first started driving Jeeps down in Moab, I would come down to Moab and before I went to dinner, before I checked into the hotel, 
I would go and run the first half of a trail called Fins and Things just to kind of get myself accustomed again to the slick rock, the cambers, the descents, and the ascents, um, just to get used to it. Since um, probably about three years ago, I started doing the exact same thing on Hell's Revenge. I'll come down and Hell's Revenge from basically the entrance to the escalator is now my warm up. It just helps me get used to driving in the desert, get used to driving on the rocks again, and it's a lot of fun. If you do want a little bit easier warm up, Fins and Things is also a great trail. You can break it up into a couple different sections. The first section is my favorite section of that trail, and we will do a review on that a little bit later. But now, when I come to Moab, I really enjoy Hell's Revenge as a warm up. It used to scare me right when you come in the entry because you have to go up that steep spine. But now I feel very comfortable with it. And this is one of those trails that's just, it's just pure fun. If you want to come out here and play on the side by sides, if you want to come out here and use your Jeep or whatever it is, this is just a great trail and I, I'd recommend it to everybody. One of the fun things about this location right here at this overlook is that the sign is showing us that there are some dinosaur tracks that are in the mud. Well, ancient mud that is now stone right there behind these rocks. So if you come up here and look over the overlook, you can actually look at these imprints and that's a pretty fun little spot to stop and take a look on the way in, or in our case, on the way out. Uh, then you just have this one final descent and go back towards the entryway where you go through the rocky section and then, and this gives you just one last chance to do a little bit of technical driving and kind of get the bearings of your vehicle a little bit more. As we were leaving, somebody had left their Wrangler here just at the base of the hill. I'm assuming because of mechanical failure of some kind, but it wasn't a really big deal. We were able to drive around the vehicle just fine. And as you can see, the other Jeep coming up was able to just wait for us as we came around that corner. So as you head out, this is one of the most scenic sections of the trail. And it's wonderful that on a trail like this, you can have so many beautiful places, whether you're coming or going, uh, the entire trail is just awesome, super fun and worth doing. Again, I encourage you, if you're gonna come out to Utah, make sure you come and try this trail. And just like when we came in on the trail, going out, we have to go on the right-hand side because of the longer wheelbase of the Gladiator. I would scrape the rear bumper going up and over those uh, ridges on the left hand side. You can see those lines there for other people have done it as well. So because of the extended length, we do have to go through the little bit more uncomfortable rocky section here on the right hand side. If you're in a Wrangler two door or a four door, this is one of those sections where you would really prefer to go on the left. It's smoother. It's more comfortable. But because we're in the Gladiator and we have that long overhang in the back, uh, we have the requirement to go through this little bit more rocky section on the right hand side so there are downsides to bigger vehicles that's okay because we do enjoy having the convenience and the comfort on road and we do have to make some accommodations every now and then and this last final climb is really fun as you get into this little wedge i typically just put my left hand tire on the wall on the left and then slowly climb up and out and in this video, it really doesn't look like much, but it is uh, just higher than roof level when you start. And then right here, you just climb up and out. And as long as you're in four wheel drive and keep all your wheels on the ground and go slowly, it's not too difficult. But it looks like a big climb when you roll up to it. And then from here, you approach that initial spine where you entered again. And you'll notice that there is a, a one-way sign at that entry. And that's because they've now diverted traffic off to the right hand side so that you go over a different spine as you exit into the parking lot now a couple years ago that second entrance wasn't available and you would have to go up and over that entry spine and hope that no one was coming the other way and it was a lot of fun i didn't mind it um i never had to go backwards down either direction but i'm sure a lot of people did and they didn't love that so the secondary exit road has been carved off the hillside and it looks like most of it was always there, but as you get to the top of the hillside, you'll see they have excavated some from the wall there. And, and you do have to hug the wall kind of tight as you exit over here. And if you look at it right there, you can see the crest and the ridge. It's actually one of my least favorite parts of the trail because you are totally blind as you crest the hillside and it is fairly narrow. So right through this point right here, you do need to just take a minute 
and watch what you're doing because it is blind and it's very tight. So it's fun, but you do have to make, be aware of what's happening there. And from there on out, you just drive down to the parking lot and the trail is over. So really appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below, like, and subscribe to the channel. That way we know that you're liking the videos and we can give more trail reviews focused on Utah, Colorado, and Idaho areas and hope to give you guys more ideas of where to go and what kind of trails are suited for you and your appetites. So thanks again, really appreciate it.